So hi there, welcome back. This is Robert Giorgioni for robertgiorgioni.com, your friendly roving sommelier. I'm here with a Kiwi a guy called Richard Reed, and he's the owner of Nude Espresso. Richard, tell us about your journey. Um, I grew up in Wellington in New Zealand, uh, and like anyone when you're younger, we had a, an interesting sort of growing coffee, I guess, scene in Wellington growing up. and. As you go to university, you need to earn a bit of money to pay your fees, so the easiest place to work was in cafes, and luckily enough there were roasteries starting up, and got to have quite a lot of access to little roasteries buying different coffees, roasting and training us, so I spent a lot of time working that way, and that's where I got sort of a lot of the experience, and these places were, I guess, a bit like the Wild West, people just learning and experimenting and playing, and uh, it was a very fascinating time, um, and then after that, I went travelling around the world um, and worked in hospitality in a lot of places from Canada to Hong Kong to the UK to Australia and, and obviously New Zealand as well um, and just watched how the coffee scene grew in different places. Um, then when I was um, back in New Zealand I was looking at setting up a, a coffee business there um, and then I got um, paid to come over to the UK to check out a, a family friend's business that wasn't uh, doing very well just to consult on that and while I was here I was watching the coffee scene grow over here in about 2006 I was looking at it and it was very simple and I thought what the hell what am I doing setting up in New Zealand I should do it in the UK it's more of a challenge it's going to be more satisfying more more I guess yeah definitely more of a challenge so I went back home sold up um, sold my house sold pretty much everything um, talked to uh, some friends, tried to convince them to, to be a good idea uh, and managed to convince um, my business partner Jared that uh, it's a good idea to uh, set up a business in London um, and then got stuck in and started doing it. It took about a year to find a site over here, um, just walking around the streets just trying to find places uh, and then found a little site on Hanbury Street. Um, and then I think so what time is this roughly? This, this would have been 2007. Uh, walking around trying to find everything, get it going, and then trying to convince people to give us a lease. Um, and that was hard because it was the boom time back then. Every, every site were going for a premium and people were snapping them up. Uh, so we signed the lease. Um, then pretty much while we are doing the fit out, everything sort of crashed um, around in that kind of September um, 2008. Uh, the market sort of crashed. Uh, and we were setting up a business, so mm. we've kind of set up in a recession, but we opened the doors and that was probably one of the scariest days, trying to think, shit, I've fitted this place out, I've done this, will people come in and buy coffee, will people understand what we're doing? And luckily, I think we sold, or well, we did sell 34 cups of coffee on the first day, um, and that was uh, not a great deal back then, but it was just really satisfying, just work trying to get the business going. Um, and four years later, we've got two cafes and a roastery and we wholesale coffee to about 72 customers around the UK um, which is really nice and really satisfying and what we do is just try and source the best quality coffee we can, roast it and supply it fresh to all our customers um, and then just trying to push the boundaries, trying to source better quality all the time. So it, um, it, it, it's good fun and it's an ongoing challenge uh, but it is uh, it is very satisfying and very rewarding, um, which, is, which is the nice thing about it. And we get to deal with lots of really nice customers each day, which um, is really nice. That's why we have the roastery open to the public and we still have that face-to-face -face contact with people. And that's very important for us as a business to keep us very grounded and very level um, so we know what we're producing and what we're supplying is what people want. Um, uh, and yeah, I think it's we're getting there. I mean, it's going to be a very interesting next couple of years. I think as the UK market starts to understand coffee a bit more and starts asking for better quality, and we're there to provide it for them. Sounds great. Thank you very much. It was wonderful to meet you today and to listen to your journey and your story. I love your coffee, and um, good luck for your future. Oh, thank you very much, Robert. And uh, let's take a look around your roastery now.